Hello Internet and welcome to a very short video made especially for my uh, friend hack job where I take a look at a uh, or rather a very quick look at the history of the Labrador Retriever dog. More specifically, it's probably direct ancestor the St. George Water Dog and how it served uh, in Newfoundland particularly uh, as a fisherman's helper dog and even to a certain degree did some um, work on whaling vessels whaling vessels mm. that their uh, that their descendants the Labradors then also did so yeah very quickly but enjoy the Labrador Retriever, as we know it today, is basically a breeding development of an older uh, breed known as the St. John's Water Dog. St. John's Water Dog was being used in the New World, particularly in the Newfoundland area, as a fisherman's dog for quite a while. And it was then in the 1830s that they were bred by a couple of British aristocrats who wanted a new breed to help them uh, retrieve uh, whatever they shot on hunts from water situations that they then developed into the modern day Labrador. However, the St. John's water dog was in many ways a lot like the current Labrador, fairly short fur, about the same size, a bit of water repellent fur covered in certain natural oils. It was used, as I said, for quite a while as a fisherman's dog in Newfoundland, where it would actually go out into fishermen's boats and help retrieve nets and lost poles and even uh, fish that managed to slip off the uh, hooks or even from the nets themselves. These, of course, then became so popular that the aforementioned aristocrats in Britain then brought them over for another breeding. However, the Labrador itself, once it had been sort of developed or bred into being, of course, then very quickly spread uh, into the most popular uh, well, dog race in the world at any time used, being used both as a working dog, of course, and as the family house dog that where it is so familiarly known today. In the picture here, you see what is an example of a St. John's water dog, and you can clearly see the traits that would later be bred into the Labrador Retriever. And this is possibly where I misled Hack, because I said that the Labrador had been used as a whaling dog, which it really hasn't, because the Labrador didn't actually spread back into the New World until after the Golden Age of whaling was almost over, or it had at least been heavily industrialized. However, there are several stories, tales, and letters describing the St. John's water dog as being used on whaling vessels. Not, of course, to harry the whales or to actually hunt the whales, but to help, well, find the whales with their noses and uh, perhaps help uh, retrieve lost um, harpoons and so on. So, Hack, I am sorry for having, to a certain degree, degree, misled you, but the Labrador originating breed, which, as you can see, is basically a Labrador in basic form was certainly used as a whaling dog where it would go out with the whaling ships to basically help sniff out whales and then help with all the little tasks uh, like that had to do with going into the water because they like their descendants of the labradors are really powerful swimmers who actually like going into the water well, that was it. Very quick and dirty. I hope at least some of you have seen this with some interest. The history of the Labrador and various dog breeds are very interesting, but it's not something I'll probably bring up too often. But yeah, Hack, I hope you enjoyed this. This was specifically for you. Until next time, I have been the Sage, and I wish you all a very happy day.